Cybersecurity concerns are top of mind as President Trump kicks off his visit to the UK. President Trump is expected to put the pressure on Britain to cut ties with Huawei over U.S. spying fears. And joining us to discuss further is cybersecurity expert Ron Gula. So, Ron, what do you think of the whole Huawei kerfuffle. So this idea that uh, they're building out this massive infrastructure around the world that's going to be able to spy on everybody around the globe and that they have to be stopped right now. Do you think that the U.S. is making a good case and that that's true? So it's a good policy that the president has. Uh, doing this not only prevents Huawei from doing economic espionage against the U.S. and our allies, but also really puts a stake in the ground against China itself and the espionage they're doing worldwide. So uh, looking at the kind of the cyber setup right now in the world, and I feel like a politician right now using the word cyber because they always <laughs> say that stuff, but like the vulnerability of our networks that we all take for granted right now, as someone who actually knows things about those networks, how vulnerable are they to the things we hear investment managers say as a major risk, like um, a, a, a nation carrying out an attack against the entire US power grid, something of that scale? So the entire internet is built on insecure computers and insecure protocols. So we're never really gonna win this war. And I like to talk about it in terms of what I call the cyber poverty line. Mm -hmm. If you look at somebody like a Citibank or JP Morgan, they can buy one of everything, every security product vendor sells. And they still know that's not enough, so they employ hundreds, if not 500 people, to go and look for people who slip through the cracks. The rest of us don't have a chance. Yeah. So that's what's going on right now. So what, what are the kind of vulnerabilities that you see um, as material risks, let's say to a private citizen, someone who is concerned about their home internet network? So the big issue with private citizens is we really don't understand the value of our data. We're regularly putting things in the cloud, so then today when we have something like a Google outage, some of us had our thermostats not work, right? Mm -hmm. So there's sort of this system systemic risk of us not understanding how the internet works and making wise decisions. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we're also getting technology that might be made by our adversaries, right? We're already talking about a ban for, for Huawei. We've had the military ban DJI drones. We've had the U.S. government ban Kaspersky from, uh, from Russia. And we're probably in a, going to enter in a future where there's going to be more bans like this. And it's going to be up to us to make sure we don't, you know, you know what would be useful would be labels that said not only made in China, but data hosted in China. Right. It would really make the consumers a lot more savvy. So you used to be uh, with a publicly traded uh, company that does cybersecurity, Tenable Network Security. Tenable Network Security. I'm just curious, there, there are a lot of cybersecurity plays out there. I think people think it's a, a big area of growth. Is there one sector, though, that investors should be looking at in there if you slice it up? Or is it just like, throw money at cybersecurity and <laughs> you're going to be fine? So there's a lot of companies in cybersecurity. If you go to the RSA conference, you, there might be thousands. There's probably like three, 4,000 that are out there. And the thing is, if you meet any of these founders, every one of them has confidence in the problem that they're solving is not only something people want to spend money on, but that people will. The problem is, is a lot of people are rushing into this. Mm -hmm. So cyber is still a great investment, though, because it's the only market where the customers will tell you when they have a problem. Mm -hmm. I can regularly call a chief information officer, chief information security officer, and I can say, what are the problems that you and your board are having for the next four or five years? And then you can go create companies like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing now after Tenable. We're investing in new cyber companies, and we're investing with a lot of confidence. All right, uh, Ron Gula, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you.